What up, what up, Wimbush here, and Quixel Bridge is back. That means that we get access to Quixel Bridge again that will allow us to use all of our favorite applications like Cinema 4D, Blender, Maya, etc. But then also it brings back my favorite functionality, which is the blend materials, which I was really missing once they killed Bridge. Now I just got off the live Q&A that they had this morning and they brought up a lot of points about their roadmap moving forward which I'm going to share with you all today. The biggest of course being that Quixel Bridge is going to be available until they get Fab figured out. They're actually working on a desktop version of Fab which I guess eventually is going to replace Bridge but until they get all that figured out Bridge is going to be available for us to use. Now they will be sunsetting Bridge at some point in the future but they said they absolutely won't do that until they get Fab figured out. Now they're going to have a claim all function inside of Quixel Bridge. They said it's coming next week so definitely look out for that because you're only going to be able to claim everything until the end of the year. I know we claimed everything with Fab but there are some key differences. I'm going to leave a link down below to the forum post where they explain it more in detail but the biggest thing is some of the stuff that was involved in Fab didn't come over from Quixel Bridge because they felt like the quality didn't live up to the new standards and so a lot of those assets that didn't make the transition over you'll be able to claim those inside a bridge and have those forever but you'll have until the end of the year to claim that again they said they're going to make the claim button next week available so make sure you keep an eye out for that now the one big negative that I did take away from the talk this morning was they're not going to bring back Quixel Mixer which was a big hit to me. I felt like Mixer was really in a good position moving forward but for whatever reason they just killed development on it so there's not going to be any updates moving forward on Quixel Mixer which is a bummer but but you know there is an alternative to it which I might be covering on my channel here in the future so definitely keep your eyes out for that. So the big takeaway from this is they definitely heard everybody's critiques out there so thanks everybody for making your voices heard out there on social media the team definitely took it to heart that's why they brought bridge back and then also keep an eye out for that button that's going to allow you to claim everything inside of quixel bridge and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care